When Eric DaCosta was asked by a reporter who he expected to be this year's Brandon Stevens, he replied, Rashad Bateman. With all respect to the general manager, I don't think it's right to compare a first-round pick in his fourth season to a third-round pick from SMU who had converted from running back one year earlier. I'll submit to you that the next Brandon Stevens, if you will, is in fact Tavius Robinson. I would be surprised if we see that sort of development this year, but in some respects, it would not shock me. I do expect to see a great improvement from Tavius this year. Tavius came into the league measuring six foot six and one eighth inches, having 34 inch arms and being 257 pounds. The reports are that he has gained weight, gained muscle. I think the Ravens expected that from him this off season. I think big things are in store for him. We see him here at five technique. He's going to shoot his arms. They get slapped away by the tackle. He's able to shoulder and drive and reshoot his hands. Does a good job with his length here. You see him find the football, press the defender inside, throw the tackle's arm with his outside arm. Does a great job setting the edge and pressing the block into a gap, then shedding and making the tackle. Tavius played a lot on the strong side. For the most part, he makes light work of tight ends, fires off the football right here. Watch him find the football, drive this tight end into the backfield, easily shed, come off, and make the tackle. I think for the most part, the Ravens really liked what they saw out of him in the run game. And they have high hopes for him as he puts on muscle, gets stronger, and further picks up the nuances of the game. Almost an identical look the Cardinals try to pull off here. 12 personnel, this sort of insert sniffer uh, wide out this time. Again, he explodes off the football. He's seen this setup before. He's going to find the football right there, yanks the tight end down the line, throws him into a gap, gets off the block, gets in on the tackle. Tavius again as our Sam backer. I thought he did a great job as I've seen it when the end or the tight end down block away from him, staying square and shuffling, looking for any pullers. And then once the ball is given, reading, getting down the line in a hurry, and making tackles throughout the season. Titans ace formation, outside zone. Derrick Henry really takes it to the tight end in a hurry. Shoots his arms. Drives the tight end two yards back. Works to get outside. This is all him here. You can see this route taking the receiver, taking the corner away, forcing the cut back by Henry. Then he's going to pursue, throw his body around a little bit. This is where I imagine the Ravens will see Tavius doing his best work in terms of rushing the quarterback, is lining him up inside or matching him up to a guard anticipating that he'll be too long, too quick off the ball, too quick generally, combined with more strength, more weight. I think he's going to be a problem inside. See that jab step outside, swat with the hands, shoulder dip, and the burst to the quarterback. See that long arm reach out to try to swat the football away and then pick up his sack. Rushing off the edge last year, you see him primarily utilizing this bull rush. He does have to become more consistent with his hand placement. Here you see him shoot those hands very high, but still able to generate a lot of power. Continues to run his legs 
Ideally, these hands are underneath the pads of the tackle and attached. But he does do a nice job of locking out his arms here, long arming the tackle and driving him back to the quarterback. Rushing off the left tackle side, does a good job heading up field at the outside shoulder, turning in. You can see what a difference it makes when he's able to get his hands underneath the pads of the tackle and how much power he's able to generate. I'll note that this tackle absolutely dominated Owe all game. In terms of his rushes off the edge, he was limited last year to that bull rush for the most part, but that's a great place to start. I'd like to see him attack hands and work a push-pull. Add that to his repertoire. We see him off the right tackle side. This too is encouraging. See that long arm technique and then watch with his outside arm, he grabs the wrist of the tackle. So, he's, so as I said, that's a great place to start with just a powerful bull rush. I think there's a lot of promise for him as a rusher. As I mentioned at the top of the video, he's gonna take great strides this year, but I think a year down the road, he will be looked at as one of the great uh, DaCosta picks, along with Brandon Stevens. Usually the first guy to get his hands inside. Here he makes a mistake in that he doesn't keep his arms locked out. If his arms are locked out or if they remain locked out, in theory at least, then this will be easier as he gets stronger. He'll be able to throw that body outside, take up a gap and a half, and then in a perfect world shed, get in this, well, this is a huge gap, but get off the block and make a tackle. 